<laughs> like or subscribe to Three Bull Brewing. See, it's walking in our shot. Jesus Christ. We had it. <laughs> Here today to talk to you about how we pipe this place. So we're going to talk about the piping that we did for the brewery. Uh, most of it's water piping, all done in copper. The uh, reason why we did it in copper is one, I did it, and I'm a plumber, so it's easy for me. Uh, we got a main feed line, obviously water is needed for boil kettle, mash tun, and our hot liquor tank. So easier to just pipe everything in, come down, um, put bypasses in, because obviously, like I said, we want to feed the water to the boil kettle and the mash tun and that. Plus, we got a heat exchanger here. Um, we got to feed the water too. I put a lot of bypasses in. That way, I can back feed, save water, any water that's going through the heat exchanger. Uh, I can save that water. Uh, if we're doing a double batch, um, I can first divert that water, that hot water that's coming off of it, and put it right back into the mash tun. And that way, our second batch will be ready to go as soon as we're done transferring the beer. Um, the other one would be if we're doing a single batch, I will uh, tr just transfer the water that we've been cooling for the heat exchanger and send it back up to the hot liquor tank and refill that tank. Uh, no sense in just dumping the water down the drain. So other than that, we've got all the piping that we came into the manifold, manifold we built. This pretty much diverts beer everywhere and anywhere we want it to go. Mash tun, boil kettle, fermenters, heat exchanger. Pretty easy process. I mean, other than knowing what you want to do and how you want to set yourself up. This guy's just walking around. And uh, so it's, a, it's, it's just a matter of figuring out what you want to do and how you want to set your system up. And the nice thing again about copper is Anytime you want to change it, you can just cut something in, change the fittings. Stainless is nice, but you know what? It takes a professional welder to do stainless. Um, and it's cost a lot of money. So unless you've got a, a specific plan already set up for your system. Greg, you eating over there? I am, I'm asparagus. <laughs> ball valves, you can't have too many ball valves. Obviously, you see a lot of ball valves up here. They do a lot of things. I can divert this water through the heat exchanger back to the mash tun, I divert it back to the boiler, come back, stick it back up to the hot liquor tank. Uh, that thing does so many different things, and it's nice. And again, to have copper, you can always cut in a valve, and you can always I change this thing three, four times already, just trying to make everything work better for us as we're going. So. And cut. Our glycol system for all our tanks you see here, other than these two, our fermenters, bright tank. All the glycol lines we did in copper also, one inch. Uh, again, it was easy to do it. It's rigid. Um, it supports itself a lot better than like plastic pipe would. Um, and again, it's just easier to just make things work and support itself. And cut. And action. Action. So like here, we piped in overhead back out to another room where we hold our CO2 bottle. Um, here I piped it across with copper again. Um, fed the regulators. So now we've got our CO2 lines with flexible hose, shut off valves. And here we can hit our bright tank and our fermenters if we need, or even our keg cleaner. I also piped in a line coming across there from the garage in copper, and it's an airline going to a compressor, a big compressor. So now we got an airline. Uh, we don't use a lot of air for most anything other than our keg cleaner, but it's nice to have. Greg here, he's going to take over and tell you a little bit about the diverter station. He, uh, he's a three bull guy. I'm a three bull guy.
All right, so this is diverter station. Very important or really um, easy to use. Every brewer should have one, even in the home brewery. It does make things easy. Why? Because right here, we got uh, pump in and pump out, okay? A lot of things go through our brewery pump. And we have, uh, this comes from the mash tun. This goes into our heat exchanger on the way to the fermenter. This comes from our boil kettle. And this goes to our whirlpool on our boil kettle. So there's a lot of things. If we didn't have this, we're, we're always constantly trying to do the hose thing. So we actually built this diverter station. Um, had one of our buddies who's a stainless steel welder weld it. Thing nice about it. We have a couple of these. These are made out of copper. Um, and again, some brewers obviously Thank have you. stainless Thank steel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks to Brian. So, it, so let's say I'm coming out of the mash tun and I, I, I'm going to do my lotter and I'm going to go into my uh, brew kettle. So this is what we're going to do. I need, where did I put those in? Right? Right? Yep. Right? We need washers. And we got CT fittings here. So I'm going to impress you how well I put these on. So we grab two washers or uh, gaskets, you might call those. We're going to go from, uh, what did I say, mash tun. Oh gosh, I don't think we can go from the mash tun because we have, we have a, uh, what we call a wart grant. Should we go into the wart grant? Wart grants are very important. And I think um, it's a secret that a lot of brewers don't know. Um, oh gosh, all right, cut. All right, so what I'm gonna show you right now is how we use a diverter station, why it does actually save you a lot of time. And um, it saves you time, you don't have to wash a lot of hoses, we're just washing these little things. And, they all kind of do the same thing. So let's say I want a whirlpool. I'm done brewing. I'm going to shut the uh, flame. I'm going to do a flame out. I'm going to shut the uh, flame off to the boil kettle. And then I, what I want to do is uh, whirlpool it, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So I just uh, grab these. Put this guy on. That's how I like putting on these uh, clamps. See the U-shape? throw it down here, put the other guy up. So what I did here is I came out of the boil kettle into the pump. I'm gonna go out of the pump with another one into my whirlpool. This is a whirlpool which goes back into the kettle. In a day's, all day brewing, you're always putting these clamps on and off somewhere. And a lot of that happens right here at the Deburr station. Oh, right there. So there we go. Then what I would do is I would just open them all up, turn on the pump, and it's going to recirc back to the boil kettle at the, um, the whirlpool. Hey, you got a leak. We got a leak. I'm not worried about it. We're not really brewing right now. I don't give a shit. Uh, another thing we can do with this, um, let's say I'm done whirlpooling. I shut them off, and now I want to go to my heat exchanger. The thing nice about this guy set up is I loosen him up, and I just move him all the way up. And so in one simple move, I am going right into the heat exchanger. That's what's nice about a diverter station. It's, it's very simple, and it's an easy, clean thing. So get you a, a diverter system. So this was a quick overview of what we've done as far as piping here, and um, we can get it a little more in detail later on. Uh, we'll do another video, uh, something if you uh, would like to see uh, a little more in depth of. Um, draw us, uh, well, drop us a line. Uh, if you want to go over the diverter station or, uh, there's a lot of things with the brewery process. We have a five ton wort chiller, or uh, what the hell do we have back there? <laughs> We, glycol we a, chiller. We got a five ton glycol chiller with a pump and uh, we set that up and that's what keeps all this stuff cool. It, it cools our, uh, our wart down to 68 degrees from 212 through the heat exchanger. So uh, maybe we can go over that stuff too. So anyways. And other things too. And other things. all kinds of things yeah. to go over. A lot of stuff. Glycol. Anyway. Glycol. What type of glycol we use in it? You Sorry. can subscribe Let's, to Three Bull Brewing, subscribe, by the yeah. way, right. as he rambles on. Oh, shit, you know spitball in here. We'll do it. We'll do it for you. All right. Anything you guys want to know, just let us know. Let us Other know. Other than that, drink on.
Cheers. Subscribe, Subscribe to our Three Bull channel. Three. They do it again. Is right? that it? No. No. Fucked up. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to our Three Bull channel. channel. Subscribe to Three Bull Brewing. Oh, fuck. Right? Subscribe to our Three Bull YouTube. No? Subscribe to our channel on Three like Bull Brewing. Like or subscribe to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like or subscribe to Three Bull Brewing. See? It's walking in our shot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had it. <laughs> three Bull Brewing. Like, like and subscribe, subscribe to see more videos, videos in, in the, the future. future.